Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Who Am I book using Book Creator. This is a great back to school activity. And let's jump into how to do it right now. So I'm signed into my free Book Creator account. I did it at app.bookcreator.com. I'm going to create a new book. And for this project, I'm going to use a portrait in a blank configuration. But you can see here, I can also go to templates and you can see there's a whole bunch of different templates and themes that I could pick from. But for the sake of keeping this as simple a demo as possible, I'm gonna use the blank portrait template. And let's go in and add my cover. And to add my cover, Let's start by adding some text. Who is Richard? And let's add that right in. And now I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. Spread that out a little bit. And you can see I can reposition it. But let's say that I want to make that text bold. Well, I can do that. You can see there, I can now make that bold but I want to further customize this. So let's go over here to the right hand side and I'm going to further customize my font by making it a little bit bigger. I'm going to put it in the center of the screen and I might even change out the font style. Perhaps I want to use cabin font instead of the default font or maybe I want to use a Lexan font which makes my text a little bit more accessible or perhaps one of these other fun fonts. I like this one. And I'm gonna go back in here and say, who is Richard? And I'm gonna make the is lowercase. Now, let's further customize this page. And I would put in a nice background. I like this wood background, but you'll see when I do that, my font is hard to see. So. Let's change out my font and change my font color and make it yellow. And now it's a little bit easier to see on the screen. And of course, if I want to make it bigger, there we go. We can make it a bit bigger. Now, let's add another page to my book. And I'm going to add in to my first page here on the left hand side, I'd like to add in an image. And so you can see I can search for an image, but in my case, I already have an image on my computer that I like. And I'm going to get that image and import it from my desktop. You can see here, I've made a folder called Who Am I? And you'll see, I'm gonna add that headshot. And let's make my headshot a little bit smaller so it fits on the page and then down below that, we'll add in my text and say, I am a teacher, I am a dad, I am a cyclist, I am a fun guy. At least I think so. And I'll add that in. And I'm gonna drag that in right below the image. Now, I wanna add something else to my next page. And over here, I'm gonna add in an image. And my other image I'm gonna add for our demo here is this one here. And below it, I'm gonna add in not more text. Instead, below it, I'm gonna add in a recording. I'm going to start recording right now. One of the things that I like to do is take pictures next to unique things like Pinto McBean in Bow Island, Alberta. I'm going to use that recording. And that recording, I'm now going to drag and place right below my image so that when people are viewing my book creator book online, they can click that 
and play it back. Now let's add one more page. And on this page here, I want to add in a video. And so you can see here I have images, camera, pen, text, record, but I need even more. So let's go to even more and let's choose embed. And I'm going to embed this video I have of myself. Now, you can add just a link this way. Or if you actually have the embed code, you can go to the share button on YouTube and copy that embed code and paste that in. Either way will work. Let's add that in. Now, there's my video. I'm going to put that on the page. And by the way, I should point out that I can go in and further customize this individual page and say that I'm going to have that uh, nice board background or this nice green background behind me or just a nice simple blue. And now I'm going to add in some text below that and say, in my spare time, I like to oops, make videos about bikes. And I'm going to drag that in and put it right in place. Now, let's say that I am happy with my book. And this is a very simple book about me right now. Let's click on this play button up here to read the book. And we'll see what it looks like. There I am at the last page. And there's my book, Who is Richard? There's my picture. There's my other picture. There's my button to play back. One, One of the, the things, things that, that I'd like, like to do is take... take and then there's my last page, and we can see that video will open right there. And when I'm done, I can simply go to the end of the book, go back into my edit, and I am done. Now, if I want to share this book with other people, I can certainly do so. Let's just go back to my library here, and we'll see. Here's my book, and let's click on my sharing options publish it online, download it as an ebook, or even invite a collaborator. Let's publish that one online and call it Who is Richard? And you can see this book can be private or public. I'm not going to allow remixes of my book. Let's give it a title. Who am I? This is a book about me. And you can see there, I'm making this one public for other people to see, including you. If you're quick and you copy down that link, you're watching this right now, maybe you can go ahead and read the book about me. Or perhaps you'll even scan this QR code that I'm about to bring up on the page. So that's how you can create a little Who Am I book by using Book Creator. As always, for more things like this, please visit practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.